Hello guys, here's Gunter again from alertimelapse.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the third episode of the Alert Time Lapse Expert Tips. Today I'm going to show you a feature of Alert Time Lapse that has been there from the beginning, but maybe many of you don't even know it, but it's still a very valuable tool for some situations. It's the individual or manual transitions as opposed to the auto transition that you know from your daily work. This individual transitions can be very, very handy also. We are using the same sequence here that we already used in the first tutorial and we have a nice progression here from the sunset, blue hour until the dusk. This sequence should be getting slowly darker and to achieve such a progression is not always so easy if you have several keyframes. In this case here we have six keyframes which we need to just do the subtitle changes in white balance and all the other uh, keyframing but for the brightness progression of the sequence we would rather want a linear progression from start to end. Check out the purple curve here. It gets darker until here and then it gets up a little bit again because the lights go on. In order to just check out how the brightness progression is without that lights coming up, I'll just put my reference area here to the sky and create a new reference for my pink curve. And now you can see that it's still not really a linear progression. It's going down, then it's going brighter again, and then it's getting darker again. And that's usually something that we wouldn't uh, like to have that way. One way to fix it would be with keyframes. We could, could just set a keyframe here where we have the brightest area. And then I would remove this one. And I could now pull down the brightness, the exposure of this keyframe. I could just do it here by editing my cell. Let's just assume 1.8. We'll see if that works. And this will drag the keyframe down a little bit. And of course, we'll also drag down the pink curve as soon as I hit save. I would like to have the pink curve here. Maybe it's a little bit too low. 1.95 save and the visual preview will instantly get regenerated. And now you can imagine that if we do the transition from here to here to here, we'll get a much better brightness progression. So let's do it. Auto transition and save. So now this is going to regenerate as you can see, after finishing the visual preview generation, the curve is much flatter now here and uh, we don't have that bump anymore. And when playing back, and if you look at the sky, we'll have a nice progression from rather bright to the darker sky at the end. And this looks much more natural than if the sky gets brighter in between. But this already has been a bonus trick now. It was not what I wanted to explain in the first place, the manual transitions. So let's have a look at that. Often you would have some tools in Lightroom that you would edit on every keyframe differently, but also you would have some tools where you just would like to set the first and the last keyframe and have a quite linear interpolation between them. And that's sometimes difficult to achieve in Lightroom when editing every keyframe, because for example, if you would like to start with an exposure from minus one here, for example, and with an exposure of plus two at the end, then you would need to increase exposure on any keyframe manually by a small amount. In that case, you just could override the keyframes 
with the manual adjustments in LR time lapse. For example, if we would like to make a transition for the exposure that's independent from the keyframes, we just open up the manual individual transitions panel, then just select only the exposure column by right clicking on the table header exposure and select column only this. And now we could, for example, do a linear progression only for the exposure. And what this warning tells you is that that transition will modify your keyframes. Of course, exposure already has been keyframed and connected via the auto transition. If I say yes, it will make a linear progression for the exposure. Have a look at all curves. All the other curves are untouched. Only if the exposure has now that linear progression. Let's make a curve here instead. So I click on curve, agree again, and now we'll have a smooth progressive curve for the exposure. You might remember that when editing, we introduced that linear gradient here, where we increased the exposure. I set it to around about plus one EV here, and then manually I reduced it on the keyframes before. And as you can see, the steps are not really even. So let's correct that in LR time lapse. So this is the gradient exposure here. Let's find it in the table. The good thing in the LR time lapse table is that it will show you only the columns here that really have an animation so that you can easily spot the exposure animation on the gradient here because this is the only gradient that has an exposure animation. So I will just select only this column and now let's have a look at the curve. You will have the curve showing here in the drop down fourth gradient local exposure. Control shift or command shift and then end. Then I have selected the whole sequence from the second keyframe. And now again, I bring up my individual transitions and I click on linear. And again, I accept to modify my keyframes. And what I get now is a linear progression from here to here for that exposure on my fourth gradient. Maybe now you understood a little bit better why we have all that columns in the curves, why we have the checkboxes above the columns, why we have that manual transition option and how we can just have some transitions individually from the auto transition that we normally use. I hope you liked this video and it brought you some new knowledge about LR time lapse and your time lapse processing. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, then you will get informed when the next videos are finished. And I hope that I can teach you some interesting details about LR time lapse, some more expert tips then. Bye bye, stay healthy, and see you next time.